we got three days left in the Kentucky uh, deer season. We're heading up on that ridge up there. There's a big oak flat. It's a long, hard walk, so we still got a little bit in front of us. We also have our fall turkey tags. So there are some turkeys back here. If we happen to see a turkey, we're gonna take it to you. There's some beautiful country in here. I've made it to that ridge. This is where the oak flat starts. Didn't see anything, didn't jump anything, so that's good. I know there's a buck in here. This summer, I saw him in here, but I didn't see him this fall. I saw a little rub, so I mean that could be that buck or a smaller one. We're starting to see some feeding sign from deer and turkey in here, so we're definitely in a good spot. Turkey sign and deer sign everywhere. They've got a door up in here, so we're in the right spot. Right there's an oak tree stand I built when I was a little kid. tree stand there wasn't hardly any deer or turkey in here now we have quite an abundance of them i must have been doing something right for sign all around here it just brings back a lot of memories and i was trying to kill a deer back here it was so hard because there probably wasn't five or six in the whole herd and you might hunt for two or three weeks before you seen one Something might be an air squirrel because I hear a dog treat over there. That's going on down around the other way. I really hope it's not chasing deer. That would suck bad if it is. Right on up here is a tree stand. I gotta make sure nobody's in it before I start going that way. I forgot about that stupid thing being here. We're gonna see if anybody's in that tree stand. If they're not, we're gonna ease on up this flat. I used to be the only person that ever hunted back here. I did bring a turkey call with me. So I think I'm gonna just call around a little bit, especially where I've been walking. It might cover that walking sound up as maybe turkeys moving. So let's see what happens, who knows, I don't know. On a side note, I'm not a great turkey caller. It's hard to spot and stalk anything, especially in the woods. I mean, haven't done this style of hunting in a long time. It's, man, needs to do it every now and then to sharpen his skills. It's challenging and it's fun. I really like it. Well, we've sit here for a little bit. So let's ease on around the flat here and see what's up. There's so much turkey sign in here. There has to be turkey somewhere. It's crazy. Unless they have just ravaged this place and left, which is possible. But Well, I just ran up on something random that literally kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. Kind of made me think Jason Voorhees was in here for a second. That thing's been in there a while. They've used the snot out of it. Ain't nothing like running up on a good used machete in the woods. Some more buck sign. I always found this interesting. I know this is one of those like Indian uh, directional marker. Yeah. I really don't know how that stuff worked, but that is one of those marker trees right there. Snow's starting to come down now. And there's another small rub. Well, you know you're in the Appalachian Mountains when you see a whiskey barrel in the middle of the woods. I didn't see no deer. I didn't see no turkeys. But I did see a lot of sign. But anyway, I saw some interesting things. I had a great day out in the woods. Well, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, and don't forget to click that little bell to get notified of all the videos that we're uploading. Hey, drop us a comment. Well, guys, we'll be back at it tomorrow, hopefully. Until then, we will see you all 
on down the road.